Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City. Before I start this video, I'd like to request that you check out my LEGO Ideas project Gastro Alley and vote for it to become an official LEGO set. This is my original design for a food street with lots of small surprises. If you follow my work but have not voted, please take the time to do so as the project needs more support to hit the required 10,000 votes. In this video, I'll be sharing my custom mock for a visitor center or tourist center. This was suggested by subscriber Vince Basada. My Lego city, Small Brick City, is a tourist town and has several tourist attractions such as Brick Point, Brick Beach and Asian Town. So it makes perfect sense to have a visitor center as suggested by Vince. When designing the mock, I had two things to consider, space and location. Regardless of the location, I have to consider space for any mock that I build. I always want to maximize space whenever I can, even if I have the space. I believe in space efficiency and economy in design, so a lot of my mocks reflect this. My design for the efficiency in space is tied to the location that I chose. I chose the spot just above my town square park that is also in front of the town hall. It is located on my main street. No vehicles are allowed on Main Street except for city vehicles like the bus. This spot is also where the last bus stop on Main Street is, so I decided to combine the visitor center with the bus stop. It is the perfect location for a visitor center since it is so central. It overlooks the Town Square Park which is currently hosting a food fair. The location is also accessible from all sides. The space is also better utilized with this 2-in-1 build. When designing the visitor center come bus stop, I focused on form and function. The build had to look nice, look right and serve its purpose. I built the visitor center and bus stop back to back. The visitor center faces the town square and the bus stop logically faces the road. I wanted both sides to look different yet fit together as an organic build. I also wanted the visitor center to look modern. I expanded on the bus stop from the Lego City Town Bus Station set 60154. Let's have a look at the visitor center first. It is small but functional. There's a hardworking city employee inside. There are newspapers, brochures, maps and tickets on the counter. And there's a computer behind the counter for the bookings of attractions to be made. I opted for a very clean look with lots of glass on all sides. On this side, there's a poster for a beach party that's going to take place at Brick Beach. The look of the bus stop is basically retained from the town bus station but integrated with my visitor's centre. The bus stop signs are from the original set. On the other side, there's a bus schedule as well as a glass door into the visitor centre. The roof design is deliberate. I contrasted the sloping bricks of the bus stop with a modern straight tower roof for the visitor center. While both designs are completely different, they do not conflict with each other. There is also an overhanging roof with lights above it. I designed the roof to be modular so that it can be removed. It is held in place with jumper plates. This is to get a better look at the interior as well as to take the minifig in and out. You now get a better look at the glass panels between the bus stop and visitor center. I hope you enjoyed my mock for a visitor center come bus stop. I think it enhances my Lego city and serves a very strong purpose. Thanks to Vince once again for the suggestion. If you'd like to make any suggestions for mocks, please leave a comment and let me know. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. So please continue to leave comments, engage in conversations and let me know if you want your sick pic in Small Brick City. Talk to you soon.